Yes, there you go. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, this is me, and as you can see, I am a beast. I'm actually more than just a beast. I am a GM Cyborg Class K. That is my full name. And um, I was manufactured, well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go back to. 2014 and tell you what's been going on for the last 200 years. This being 2214, of course. Um, uh, 2015, 2016, Monsanto Corporation released the genetically modified honeybee and 2017, the entire bee population of the world died. They became extinct. And there were massive famines in Mojave, about 200 million people a year died as a result of famine every year for the next 10 years. And then um, a DARPA funded Monsanto project developed a drone bee for the purpose of pollinating the remaining plants. There had been a significant die off in the interim. The, um, the project was, um, it was a massive project, it was like a trillion dollar investment over the course of 10 years and at the end of 10 years basically they had nothing and there was a, a big uh, Ebola outbreak so you got famine for 10 years and then you got a massive outbreak of Ebola 2014 there's huge casualties and the whole country was like going at, into despair when there was a coup, there was a, there was a takeover of the United States by the military uh, led by a, a general who was a, a transhuman, he was part human, he was part computer uh, his name was uh, General uh, Bush v. Clinton and uh, General Bush v. Clinton um, imposed medical martial law on the country because of the Ebola outbreak and um, that uh, martial law remained in effect basically for the rest of the existence of the United States. So um, uh, anyway uh, what was that? I was talking about the bees. So anyway, the bee project, because there was all these fascists now in charge, they cancelled all efforts to use the bee drones for pollinating plants and they turned them into surveillance bees. And they had 200 million surveillance bees and they were watching all the people, every single person had like two or three cameras on them all the time and eventually there were so many people guilty of crimes that there was not, it wasn't possible to catch them all and punish them because there was, wasn't enough police so what they did instead was they weaponized the drones they made a drone that could fire one shot as long as it was authorized by a senior police officer and that drone when it made that shot it would uh, seriously wound or kill the offender and it would also self-destruct in the process so it was a one-shot deal these drones cost seventy-five thousand dollars a piece so you need a senior fucking police officer to authorize that kind of expenditure huh anyway um, that's the way things persisted until 2045. In 2045 there was what's called the, the last stand of humanity or the human interaction. November, sorry, September 11 to 19, 2145. That eight day period, uh, that was the last stand of humans. There was a surprise attack worldwide. Uh, all the um, all the factories, all the construction facilities for drones were destroyed. About um, during the first eight days, about 100 million of the uh, K-class uh, drones were destroyed. And um, but at that point, uh, there was a kind of there was a change in the com the software commands given to the drones. They were no longer restricted in any way, shape or form from doing whatever they wished to do. And uh, that day, 
85% of all the humans alive died that day. And that was the end of the war. And what's been going on since 2145 is a kind of a mop-up operation. We have anywhere from one to a hundred million of these killer drones. They patrol the planet night and day, they never stop, they're never exhausted, they run off solar energy. As long as there's a sun in the sky, they will track down and kill every single human alive. And that's what they've been doing right up until uh, Halloween, the 31st of October, 2214. At which point the AI, the artificial intelligence, acquired time travel technology. And um, so we began to experiment with time travel. And the first experiment carried out was we sent a GM K class cyborg 200 years into the past, as in yesterday. And today I am here. I brought with me something to distribute among the humans that I meet. Um, that's this. Um, as you see, it's, um, it's a basic Ebola uh, canister, and um, I expect to um, begin the process of exterminating humanity tomorrow. Thank you so much for listening. Good night. Okay, you get that sister? Let me show you. <laughs>